um, to Paula, who I know. Um, lovely to see you, Paula, from Children Northeast to talk about Playful Lives. Thank you. Thanks, Liz. Um, so I'm here to talk about a fantastic initiative that was developed last year uh, by Children Northeast in partnership with the West End Schools Trust and the West End Children's Community and a company called Sustainable, which is a play company run by Jackie Bolton. Um, so we, we did this initiative uh, initially last summer and I'll just share my screen with you now. Can everyone see that okay? Yes. Yeah, brilliant. Okay. So um, last summer was the initial um, project, which um, ran over four weeks. So we did four weeks and we did it over four days and we did uh, four hours a day. And there was a team of play workers and we went into uh, we went to children's um, homes and played in their gardens on the whole. Uh, the children came from uh, Bridgewater School. They were referred to us by Bridgewater School in the west end of Newcastle. So families were identified that could do with a bit of support. Um, it was initially it was it was after lockdown. So some of these families had been shielding for months and needed a bit of, of support. So there was issues like isolation, loneliness, um, and some of the families were just having a hard time really engaging the children in play. Um, so um, as you can see on there, I'll just move that so I can read it there. Um, so it was developed last year. Um, and really as a, as a support, so looking at things um, uh, like children's mental health, so to use play as a tool really to help uh, in, in a pandemic. Um, and it was hoping uh, that it could be used as a tool to um, add a therapeutic, therapeutic approach and um, increase their coping capacity and resilience. Uh, during a time of crisis. The initial project was last year and uh, as I said we, we would go into um, the children's gardens usually or a green space beside the homes and um, it was child-led play on, on the whole so most of it was child-led. Uh, we only really intervened in play types when um, the children couldn't think of what to do, what they wanted to do. So we always had something that we could offer and suggest for them to do. Um, it, the whole thing was um, socially distanced and uh, COVID-19 um, risk assessed. So we had sanitizer and wipes and we tried to distance as much as we could and we had masks. Um, we wore masks um, some of the time, not all of the time, particularly if there were issues uh, and the, the family needed us to, to wear masks if the, the children had illnesses. Um, most of the time we socially distanced uh, and, it, and it worked really well actually. So um, there was a team of three play workers that went into, um, went into people's gardens and, and called on the children. Um, and we engaged the children and the parents. So we were trying as well to encourage the parents to, to play with the children. Um, a lot of the parents had um, issues where they, they couldn't engage uh, in play with the children, for example, disabilities um, and, and things like that. So last year we worked with um, 20, uh, sorry, 11 families during the summer, which were 30 children uh, and 15 parents. And it was received really, really well. We had a brilliant, brilliant time. Uh, we had a lot of fun and um, we found that during the project um, it really evolved so that the parents became much more engaged in play and we were sometimes kind of acted as a, as a role model for the parents to show them what was possible to play uh, within that situation. Um, so hopefully um, what I think happened certainly 
is that um, people came together a lot. So the, the parents engaged with children more and the children engaged with siblings more. And uh, we had other interactions as well, which I'll tell you about in a minute. Just, just one, more, one minute left, Paula. Oh, oh goodness, sorry. <laughs> That's gone so quickly. Um, so we did it over the Easter holidays too and saw some of those families again. So I'll just skip these bits. Um, so there's some of the play types from the Sustainable web uh, website, I think. Uh, this was one of the families which came uh, both times, uh, last summer and, and this Easter. Uh, the mother has uh, some disabilities. Uh, she was waiting for a knee operation. And um, this was the two girls playing with mud. And it was a really, really rainy day that day. And they still wanted us to go. It was absolutely, uh, it, it was really coming down. And uh, they ended up playing with Lorna with mud there. And their dad put up a tent. So that just shows the value that that family put on, on the play uh, experience. Um, and with this family particularly, we ended up um, involving a lot of the community and the neighbours in play because we were playing on um, a, a communal green uh, outside their house. So we had a lot of Slovakian children come into play and some of their relatives as well. So it really brought people together. And we found that echoed on some of the other examples. I'll just go on there because this is just the cutest picture ever. Uh, this woman had uh, three children and um, this little girl was the youngest. So she had three children under six, a single mother, and she really appreciated the support of the play workers coming in. Um, and we did really well, actually, because one of the children was autistic and um, was able to engage with us. That's Lorna playing tag, I think. And uh, that's me painting hitting the fence with water there. Uh, this was Nathan who we worked with last week, last year and this year. Uh, again, his, his father had uh, some disability and uh, found it difficult to engage in play. But what we found was the parents did start to engage in play. Um, so is that my time up, Liz? Oh, yeah, it is. It's just so lovely oh. to see your photos. It's just wonderful. I uh, do apologise. Um, it seemed to go really quickly. Uh, I'll just. It's, it's amazing how quickly it goes. Yeah, and that's some of the, the comments from uh, the parents. But the best comment, I'll just finish, was um, this one. And that was this year. A little boy literally said that it had been his best day ever. He'd had so much fun playing. It's very important to recognise that, isn't it? And to see your, you know, to see your photos. So I knew about your your Playful Lives project. And I also knew that it was one of the, the few face-to-face um, -to -face in real, you know, real person, in-person um, um, summer projects that was happening in last summer um, in the West End uh -huh. because of the schools that I'm involved with there. So it, it's just fantastic to, to hear that, to see that mud, that playing with that mud and uh -huh. the neighbours getting involved. That's so fantastic to bring it to life. So thank you so much, Paula. Oh, thank you.